I'm thrilled to be here today to discuss one of life's most crucial topics, overcoming setbacks and staying on the path towards success. In today's message, we'll explore five powerful ways to overcome setbacks and keep moving forward towards your goals and dreams. Firsthand, I understand the challenges of facing setbacks on the road to success. But with the right mindset and strategies, we can turn these setbacks into stepping stones towards our ultimate success. It's important to recognize that setbacks are a shared experience. We've all encountered them at some point. The key is to not let these setbacks define us or hold us back from reaching our full potential. By listening to this message, you're taking a powerful step towards turning things around and moving towards the life you desire. So, get ready to take notes and implement these five ways into your life. I promise they'll make a significant difference in how you handle setbacks and ultimately lead you towards the success you deserve. Let's dive in and learn how to overcome setbacks and keep moving towards success together, starting with number five. This may seem like a simple concept, but it's often overlooked, taking action and persevering. How many of you have faced setbacks in your life? I can guarantee that every single one of you has faced some form of setback, whether in your personal or professional life. It's a natural part of our journey towards success. The difference lies in how we respond to these setbacks. Some people let setbacks defeat them. They give up, lose hope, and allow their dreams to fade away. But you don't have to be one of those people. Instead, you can choose to take action and persevere. Taking action means not letting setbacks paralyze you, not dwelling on the past, and not allowing anything to hold you back. But taking action isn't enough. We must also persevere. Perseverance is the key to success. It's the ability to keep going even when things get tough, the determination to never give up, no matter how many times you fall. Successful people in any field have faced setbacks, but they didn't let those setbacks stop them. They took action and persevered, which is why they're where they are today. Let me share a personal story. Many years ago, I was a young man with big dreams and aspirations. Despite facing numerous setbacks, including failed business ventures and financial struggles, I refused to be defeated. I took action and persevered, seizing every opportunity for growth. And slowly but surely, I started to see progress and success. Setbacks will always be a part of our journey, but it's how we respond to them that determines our level of success. We can either let them defeat us or use them as stepping stones towards our goals. So, how can we take action and persevere in the face of setbacks? Let me share three key steps. Firstly, we must have a clear vision of what we want to achieve. This vision will act as our compass, guiding us towards our goals and keeping us focused. When we have a clear vision, setbacks become temporary roadblocks, not permanent barriers. Secondly, we must have a plan of action. Taking action without a plan is like driving without a map. A plan helps us stay organized, prioritize our tasks, and stay on track towards our goals. And when setbacks come our way, we can refer back to our plan and make necessary adjustments. Lastly, we must have a strong mindset. Our mindset is the most powerful tool we have in overcoming setbacks. We must believe in ourselves and our abilities, be resilient and adaptable, and never give up. Taking action and persevering isn't easy, but the rewards are worth it. When we take action and persevere, we not only overcome setbacks but also grow and become better versions of ourselves. Moving on to number four, seeking support and advice from others. We all face setbacks in our lives, it's just a part of the journey. But what sets successful people apart is their ability to bounce back from setbacks and keep moving forward. And one of the most effective ways to do that is by seeking support and advice from others. We aren't meant to go through life alone. We thrive when we have a strong support system around us. When we face challenges and setbacks, having people to turn to can provide strength and resilience. So, who should you seek support and advice from? Anyone who has been where you want to go. Seek out mentors, coaches, and successful individuals who have faced similar setbacks and overcome them. Learn from their experiences, mistakes, and triumphs. Surround yourself with a positive and supportive network of friends and family who will be there for you during tough times. If you don't have a mentor or a strong support system, it's time to start building one. Attend networking events, join online communities, and seek out individuals who have achieved what you aspire to achieve. 
Don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help. You'll be surprised at how many people are willing to offer their support and guidance. But remember, seeking support and advice from others doesn't mean relying on them completely. Ultimately, you are responsible for your own success. Use the advice and support of others as a guide, but trust in yourself and your abilities. Moving on to number three, setting realistic goals and having a plan. Setting goals is essential, but they must be realistic and achievable. Unrealistic goals set us up for failure, whereas realistic goals give us a fighting chance to achieve them. But setting realistic goals is just the first step. We also need a plan. A plan is the roadmap that guides us towards our goals, helping us stay focused and on track. It turns our dreams into reality. So, how do we set realistic goals and create a plan? Firstly, have a clear understanding of your goals and dreams. Break them down into smaller achievable steps, set a timeline, and hold yourself accountable. And be flexible, life is unpredictable, and things may not always go according to plan. But that's all right. Be open to making adjustments to your plan when necessary. Remember, the destination may remain the same, but the journey may have a few detours. Now, on to number two. Staying positive and maintaining a growth mindset. I know what you may be thinking. How can something as simple as staying positive and having a growth mindset be the key to success? Well, let me tell you, my friends, it's not as simple as it may seem. In fact, it's one of the most challenging things to do, especially when faced with setbacks and failures. But it's possible, and it's crucial for your success. So, what exactly is a growth mindset? It's the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed and improved through hard work, dedication, and perseverance. It's understanding that we're not limited by our current skills or knowledge, but rather, we have the potential to continuously learn and grow. And this mindset is essential because it allows us to see setbacks and failures as opportunities for growth and learning, rather than roadblocks for our success. Staying positive and maintaining a growth mindset may sound like a walk in the park when everything is going well. But it's when we face challenges and setbacks that our true character is tested. It's easy to be positive and have a growth mindset when everything is going our way. But it takes real strength and determination to maintain that mindset when things are not going as planned. So, how do we stay positive and maintain a growth mindset in the face of setbacks? The first step is to reframe our perspective. Instead of seeing setbacks as failures, see them as opportunities for growth. As the saying goes, when one door closes, another one opens. Every setback is a chance for us to learn, improve, and come back even stronger. So, instead of dwelling on our failures, let's focus on what we can learn from them and how we can use that knowledge to propel ourselves forward. The second step is to surround ourselves with positivity. We become the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So, it's crucial to surround ourselves with positive and growth-oriented individuals. These are the people who will lift us up when we're feeling down, remind us of our potential when we doubt ourselves, and push us to be the best version of ourselves. So, choose your inner circle wisely and let their positivity and growth mindset rub off on you. Another crucial aspect of staying positive and maintaining a growth mindset is to focus on progress, not perfection. It's easy to get caught up in the idea of perfection, but the truth is, it doesn't exist. Perfection is an illusion that can hold us back from achieving our goals. Instead, let's focus on progress. Every step we take towards our goals, no matter how small, is progress. And progress, no matter how slow, is still progress. So, let's celebrate our progress and use it as motivation to keep moving forward. Lastly, it's essential to practice gratitude. When we're faced with setbacks, it's easy to get caught up in negativity and forget about all the good things in our lives. But practicing gratitude can help us shift our focus from what's going wrong to what's going right. Take a moment every day to reflect on the things you're grateful for, no matter how small. It could be something as simple as having a roof over your head or a supportive friend. Gratitude can help us maintain a positive mindset and keep us motivated to continue on our journey towards success. My friends, staying positive and maintaining a growth mindset is not always easy, but it's necessary for our success. As we face setbacks and challenges, let's remember to reframe our perspective, 
Surround ourselves with positivity, focus on progress, and practice gratitude. These are the keys to staying positive and maintaining a growth mindset. I want to express my gratitude for the opportunity to share with you the number one way to overcome setbacks and keep moving towards success. I've dedicated my life to studying success and personal development. I've had the privilege of learning from some of the greatest minds in history and distilling their wisdom into simple, actionable steps that anyone can take to achieve their goals and live a life of abundance. The number one way to overcome setbacks and keep moving towards success is to reframe them as learning opportunities. Setbacks are not failures, they're opportunities to learn and grow. Just like a muscle needs resistance to become stronger, we need setbacks to become wiser and more resilient. Think about it, some of the most successful people in history have faced countless setbacks before achieving their goals. Thomas Edison failed over 1,000 times before inventing the light bulb. Walt Disney was fired from a newspaper for lacking creativity and went bankrupt multiple times before creating the iconic Disney brand. Oprah Winfrey was told she wasn't fit for television and was fired from her first job as a news anchor. These setbacks could have stopped them in their tracks, but instead, they used them as learning opportunities and kept moving forward. So, how do we reframe setbacks as learning opportunities? First, we must change our perspective. Instead of seeing setbacks as failures, see them as feedback. When something doesn't go as planned, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? What can I do differently next time? Remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of success. Every successful person has faced failure, but they didn't let it define them. They used it as a stepping stone towards their goals. Secondly, we must take responsibility for our setbacks. It's easy to blame external factors for our failures, but taking responsibility means taking control of our lives. It means acknowledging that we have the power to change our circumstances. When we take responsibility, we can learn from our mistakes and make the necessary adjustments to move forward. Next, we must embrace the growth mindset. This means believing that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work and dedication, People with a growth mindset see setbacks as opportunities to learn and improve, while those with a fixed mindset see them as proof of their limitations. Embracing a growth mindset allows us to see setbacks as temporary and to keep pushing forward towards our goals. Another key to reframing setbacks as learning opportunities is to surround ourselves with the right people. We become the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So, it's crucial to surround ourselves with positive, supportive, and growth-minded individuals. These people will lift us up when we're facing setbacks and help us see the lessons in our failures. Lastly, we must practice resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity and keep moving forward. It's a crucial trait for success because setbacks are inevitable. But how we respond to them is what truly matters. Resilient people see setbacks as temporary and use them as fuel to keep going. They don't let setbacks define them, they use them as opportunities for growth and development. In closing, setbacks are not the end, they're merely a detour on the road to success. The number one way to overcome setbacks and keep moving towards success is to reframe them as learning opportunities. Remember to change your perspective, take responsibility, embrace the growth mindset, Surround yourself with the right people, and practice resilience. These steps will not only help you overcome setbacks, but also propel you towards your goals and dreams. Today, I want to discuss something that impacts us all at some point in our lives, adversity. We all encounter challenges, setbacks, and obstacles that can leave us feeling defeated and discouraged. But here's the good news, you are not alone. In fact, some of the most successful and influential people in history have faced adversity and emerged victorious. In today's message, I want to share with you five powerful ways to overcome adversity and turn your trials into triumphs. These are practical, proven strategies that have helped countless individuals, including myself, rise above their circumstances and achieve greatness. So, if you're feeling stuck, overwhelmed, or just need a little motivation to keep going, this video is for you. By listening to this message and applying these principles, you can turn things around and pave a path to triumph. So, let's dive in and discover how to overcome adversity and reach our full potential. Starting with number five, the fifth way to overcome adversity is by taking care of yourself. 
This may seem like a simple concept, but it is one of the most crucial steps on your path to triumph. When faced with adversity, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos and lose sight of our own well-being. We become so focused on overcoming the challenge at hand that we neglect to take care of ourselves. However, this is a grave mistake. How can you expect to overcome any challenge if you are not at your best? How can you expect to triumph if you are not taking care of the vessel that carries you through life? The truth is, you cannot. In order to overcome adversity, you must first take care of yourself. You must prioritize your physical, mental, and emotional well-being because when you are at your best, you are equipped to handle anything that comes your way. So, how do we take care of ourselves in the face of adversity? The first step is to prioritize our physical health. This means taking care of our bodies through proper nutrition, exercise, and rest. When facing a challenge, it's easy to let our healthy habits fall by the wayside. We may turn to comfort foods or skip our workouts in favor of more time to work on our problems. However, this is a mistake. When we neglect our physical health, we are not only doing a disservice to our bodies, but we are also hindering our ability to overcome adversity. Think about it. When you are well rested, fueled by nutritious foods, and physically fit, you have more energy and mental clarity. This allows you to approach challenges with a clear and focused mind giving you a better chance of finding a solution. So, I urge you to make your physical health a priority, even in the face of adversity. Make time for exercise, fuel your body with healthy foods, and get the rest that you need. Your body will thank you, and you will be better equipped to face any challenge that comes your way. The second step in taking care of ourselves during adversity is to prioritize our mental health. This means taking care of our minds, our thoughts, and our emotions. When faced with adversity, it's easy to let negative thoughts and emotions consume us. We may feel overwhelmed, anxious, or defeated. However, we must remember that we have control over our thoughts and emotions. We have the power to choose how we react to any situation. So, in the face of adversity, I urge you to practice mindfulness. Take a few moments each day to quiet your mind and focus on the present moment. This will help you to let go of negative thoughts and emotions and approach challenges with a clear and calm mind. Additionally, surround yourself with positivity. Seek out the company of those who uplift and inspire you. Read books, listen to podcasts, or watch videos that motivate and encourage you. Your mental health is just as important as your physical health and it is crucial to take care of both in order to overcome adversity. The third and final step in taking care of ourselves during adversity is to prioritize our emotional well-being. This means allowing ourselves to feel our emotions and process them in a healthy way. It's easy to suppress our emotions and put on a brave face in the face of challenges, but this can be detrimental to our well-being. We must allow ourselves to feel our emotions, whether they are positive or negative, and find healthy ways to process and express them. One way to do this is through journaling. Take a few moments each day to write down your thoughts and emotions. This will not only help you to process and understand your feelings, but it will also serve as a reminder of your strength and resilience. Additionally, seek support from loved ones. Talk to a trusted friend or family member about what you are going through. You do not have to face adversity alone and having a support system can make all the difference in your journey to triumph. My friends, taking care of yourself during adversity is not a luxury, it is a necessity. It is not selfish, it is essential. When we neglect our physical, mental, and emotional well-being, we are hindering our ability to overcome challenges and reach our full potential. So, I urge you to make self-care a priority, not just in times of adversity, but in every aspect of your life. Now, let's move on to number three, which is overcoming adversity. We all face challenges in life, but it is how we handle these challenges that truly defines us. Now, I could stand here and give you a list of steps to overcome adversity, but I want to focus on one key aspect that I believe is crucial to your success, seeking support. Yes, you heard me right, seeking support. You see, many of us have been conditioned to believe that asking for help is a sign of weakness. But I am here to tell you that it is actually a sign of strength. Let me share with you a personal story. When I was just starting out in my career, I faced many obstacles and setbacks. I was struggling to make ends meet, and my dream seemed out of reach. 
but I refused to give up. I sought out mentors and coaches who had achieved success in their own lives. I asked for their guidance and advice, and they were more than happy to help me. Their support and guidance were instrumental in my journey towards success. They not only provided me with practical advice, but they also believed in me and my abilities when I was doubting myself. And that, my friends, is the power of seeking support. You see, when we face adversity, it can be easy to get stuck in a negative mindset. We start to doubt ourselves and our abilities. But when we have a support system in place, they can help us see the bigger picture and remind us of our strengths and potential. They can also offer a different perspective and help us come up with solutions that we may not have thought of on our own. But seeking support goes beyond just having a mentor or coach. It also means surrounding yourself with positive and uplifting people. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So ask yourself, are the people in your inner circle lifting you up or bringing you down? Are they supporting your dreams and goals, or are they holding you back? It may be a difficult decision, but sometimes we need to distance ourselves from negative influences in order to grow and succeed. Surround yourself with people who believe in you and your potential, who will push you to be your best self, and who will be there for you when you face challenges. Another aspect of seeking support is being open and vulnerable. It takes courage to admit that we need help, but it is necessary for growth. We must be willing to share our struggles and ask for help when we need it. This not only allows us to receive support, but it also creates deeper connections with those around us. It shows that we are human, and that we are not alone in our struggles. Now, I know that some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have anyone to turn to for support. My response to that is, seek it out. There are countless resources available to us in this digital age. Join a support group, attend workshops and seminars, read books and articles, listen to podcasts. There is no shortage of information and support out there. It is up to us to take the initiative and seek it out. But let me also remind you that seeking support is a two-way street. Just as we seek support from others, we must also be willing to offer support to those around us. Be a mentor to someone who is just starting out. Lend a listening ear to a friend in need. And be there for your loved ones when they are facing challenges. By giving support, we also receive it in return. Now, let's move on to number two, which is to create a plan of action. You see, having a positive mindset is crucial, but it is not enough. We must also take action towards our goals and dreams. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish, and I couldn't agree more. Without a plan, we are simply drifting through life, hoping for things to happen. But if we want to overcome adversity and achieve success, we must be intentional and strategic in our actions. So, how do we create a plan of action? The first step is to define your goal. What is it that you want to achieve? Is it a promotion at work? Is it starting your own business? Is it improving your relationships? Whatever it may be, be specific and write it down. This will give you a clear direction and something to work towards. The next step is to break down your goal into smaller, achievable tasks. This will prevent you from feeling overwhelmed and help you stay focused. For example, if your goal is to start your own business, some tasks could be conducting market research, creating a business plan, and securing funding. By breaking down your goal into smaller tasks, you can easily track your progress and make necessary adjustments along the way. Once you have your tasks, it is important to prioritize them. Not all tasks are created equal, and some may have a bigger impact on your goal than others. So, it is crucial to prioritize them based on their importance and urgency. This will also help you manage your time effectively and make the most out of your day. Now, let's talk about the most important step in creating a plan of action. Taking action. It is not enough to have a plan, we must also take consistent action towards our goals. As the saying goes, action is the foundational key to all success. We can have the best plan in the world, but if we don't take action, it is all for nothing. But let me tell you, taking action is not always easy. There will be times when you will face obstacles and challenges that will make you want to give up. But remember, adversity is a part of life, and it is how we respond to it that matters. So, when faced with challenges, don't give up. Instead, take a step back, reassess your plan, and make necessary adjustments. 
Remember, it is not about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up. Another important aspect of taking action is consistency. Consistency is key to achieving any goal. It is not about taking big leaps, but rather small, consistent steps towards our goals. As the Chinese proverb says, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So, take that first step, and then another, and another. Before you know it, you will have made significant progress towards your goal. Now, I want to address something that often holds us back from taking action. Fear. Fear is a natural emotion, and it is okay to feel it. But we must not let it paralyze us. Instead, we must use it as a driving force to push us towards our goals. As the great Nelson Mandela once said, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. Now, let's move on to number one, which is developing a positive mindset. You see, life is not always smooth sailing. We all face challenges, setbacks, and obstacles in our journey. But the difference between those who succeed and those who give up is their mindset. Your mindset is the lens through which you view the world, and it can either be your greatest ally or your biggest enemy. So, how do we develop a positive mindset? It all starts with our thoughts. Our thoughts have the power to shape our reality. If we constantly think negative thoughts, we will attract negativity into our lives. But if we choose to think positively, we will attract positivity and opportunities. But developing a positive mindset is not just about thinking positive thoughts, it's also about taking action. It's about having a clear vision of what you want to achieve and taking consistent steps towards that vision. As the saying goes, a dream without action is just a wish. Once you become aware of your thoughts, you can start to challenge and change them. Replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Affirmations are powerful statements that declare what you want to be true in your life. Repeat them to yourself every day, and eventually, they will become your reality. Another important aspect of developing a positive mindset is surrounding yourself with positive people. The people we spend our time with have a significant influence on our thoughts and actions. So, choose to surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you, rather than those who bring you down. But what about when we face adversity? How do we maintain a positive mindset during difficult times? The key is to reframe our perspective. Instead of seeing challenges as obstacles, see them as opportunities for growth and learning. Embrace the challenges and use them to become stronger and wiser. It's also essential to practice gratitude. When we focus on what we are grateful for, we shift our focus from what we lack to what we have. Gratitude helps us to see the good in every situation and to appreciate the blessings in our lives. Another powerful tool for developing a positive mindset is visualization. Take a few minutes each day to visualize yourself achieving your goals and living your dream life. See yourself overcoming obstacles and achieving success. Visualization helps to program our minds for success and keeps us motivated and focused. But let me be clear, developing a positive mindset does not mean ignoring or denying negative emotions. It's okay to feel sad, angry, or frustrated at times. What's important is how we deal with these emotions. Instead of dwelling on them, acknowledge them, and then choose to focus on the positive aspects of your life. And finally, the most crucial aspect of developing a positive mindset is taking responsibility for your life. You are the creator of your destiny, and you have the power to shape your reality. Stop blaming others or circumstances for your failures, and start taking ownership of your life. In closing, developing a positive mindset is the number one way to overcome adversity and achieve triumph in your life. It's about choosing to see the good in every situation, taking action towards your goals, and surrounding yourself with positive people. Remember, your thoughts create your reality, so choose to think positively and watch your life transform. In part two of this talk, we will dive deeper into the topic of personal development and how it ties into developing a positive mindset. Thank you.